start at 6.30 with breaking news in Portsmouth. Firefighters on the scene of a house fire on Elm Avenue. 10 on your sides, Rico Bush is live there right now. Rico, we understand one firefighter did have to go to the hospital this morning. Well, exactly right, Katie and Don. We, one firefighter did have to go to the hospital. We are unsure about his injuries right now, but we can tell you three adults and one infant were inside the house. They are okay right now. Firefighters have been fighting this fire for about an hour and a half, but we can tell you right now that it seems that it is under control. Smoke is still blowing out from that home, but I want to bring in right now to Deputy Chief Jim Hoffler. Can you tell me a little bit about what you saw when you got here? Uh, good morning. Uh, when I arrived, the fire was coming through the roof of the Structure spraying up the back to structure. Uh, we just had a firefighter injured in a May Day situation, and uh, they were removing the firefighter on my arrival. And that's pretty much well what I ran to when I got here. And you did say those three adults and those the kids are okay? Yes, yeah, so all the occupants got out. They self evacuated first. They returned to the structure, and the firefighters removed them after that. And we understand, of course, it is very, very cold out here, below uh, freezing temperatures right now. How are you firefighters working and uh, doing this and fighting this firefighter when it's this cold outside? Well, these guys, are, they're in pretty good shape, and but this type of cold takes it out of you. Uh, they're uh, a lot of slip hazards. Uh, there's, uh, their coats are freezing to them. Our breathing apparatus uh, is freezing to the uh, turnout coat, so it's pretty cold, and it's definitely going to have an effect on these guys when the adrenaline starts wearing down. Right now, you did tell me that you uh, move, removed the firefighters from the house. Right now, you are attacking the Council fire from the outside of the home. Excuse me. Yeah, uh, we went defensive once we had the May Day, pulled everybody out, knocked the main body to fire down, and as you can see, it went through the roof of the structure. Uh, we've since determined that we can return back inside, and we've got firefighters in there right now looking for hot spots and mopping up. All right, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Again, three adults and one infant are okay. One firefighter, he was taken to the hospital. We are trying to get, uh, work to get you information about his injuries, but again, firefighters are still working to find hot spots and try to see uh, what they can find here to put out this uh, fire. Back to you guys. All right, Rico, thank you very much. Reporting live from the scene at Elm Avenue of that house fire that started about an hour and a half ago. Firefighters dealing with cold conditions there. We'll be checking back in throughout the hour and on Wave News 10 on Fox 43 from 7 to 9.